All right, guys, welcome to your spoiler alert. Um, I am Mike with Mike W Productions, as you know. I just got done watching the Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer for uh, about the third time. I tried to upload a video last night, stayed up until about 3 a.m. before I gave up. Found out that there was a copyright strike that I am fighting now from Sony. Um, it is, in, in my opinion, uh, within fair use, but that is neither here nor there to you. But with that being said, guys, I am making this video, and I'm sorry it's coming out a little bit later than everyone else and their mother who they didn't copyright strike. So, with that being said, let's jump into this review. So, in the beginning, you get a recap of the ending of the last movie. Uh, Peter and MJ, or Mary Jane, are flying around. You find out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man because he killed um, Mysterio. Killed Mysterio. Okay, so we have that. Um... We jump into them talking on the roof about um, Spider-Man's psychic powers, so that might come into play here. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's just a, a one-liner throwaway joke, but there is something about um, Spider-Man having um, psychic abilities on females, uh, which was kind of a little cringe but since it was coming from a girl I'm not sure I'm like okay whatever um, then we get into the actual meat of the situation we find out that um, Peter Parker doesn't want to be Peter Parker anymore so he goes to the Sorcerer Supreme the Sorcerer um, well he goes to um, Doctor Strange who may or may not be the Sorcerer Supreme now. I'm not sure if we officially gave him that title or if it's just head canon right now. Um, yeah, because I always know him as the Sorcerer Supreme since uh, Tilda Swinton's character died and she was the Sorcerer Supreme. So I don't know how that works. But uh, he goes to Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange has um, his little area since the war and him not being around has kind of dilapidated there's snow everywhere apparently they don't know how to magically heat things uh where they're from and clean up magically um so that's kind of okay um they might explain that they might not either way peter parker comes to him saying hey i don't want to be uh, I don't want anyone to know that I am Spider-Man anymore, and if you guys ever watch Full Metal Alchemist, you know the law of equivalent exchange, which is for every action there is an equal uh, thing taken. Uh, so if I want a brick of gold, I have to give up something uh, of myself in the immediate area. Um, so the idea is to... Um, in order for him not to be known as Spider-Man, everyone who he's ever met who knew that he was Spider-Man has to forget that he was Spider-Man and he can no longer be Spider-Man. Uh, there's the conflict of interest right there. So, um, he starts making the magic woo-woos, the wiggly woos, if you will, and, um, Spider-Man keeps talking, distracting him from focusing on just the spell, which is a pretty hard spell apparently because Doctor Strange is having an issue with it. He keeps adding things into his head, so he's thinking about different things as he's cooking the spell up, and um, it gets kind of screwed up. He kind of slaps it down to a, looks like a neutron floating around. Okay, so... Um, moving on from, from that, I don't know if that has anything really to do, it did, uh, it probably, yes, it probably does have something to do with this, uh, because as he was doing it right before it went really small, 
you do see the rainbow lines that we saw when all of the Avengers went back in time in in Endgame. So, um, moving on from that, Spider-Man wants to have his cake and eat it too. He wants to be both Spider-Man and uh, Peter Parker at the same time. He just doesn't want to be in trouble for being both of those at the same time. So he wants to be Spider-Man and not be Spider-Man. Well, he wants to be Spider-Man, but he wants no one to know that he is Spider-Man. Okay. But the deal was you can't be Spider-Man anymore because that's the deal of the spell. Okay. Um, does that make Doctor Strange a bad guy? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Um, so moving on from that, he decides that he wants to again have his cake and eat it too. He starts going out flying around. Um, apparently... Uh, Doctor Strange finds out about it and pushes him out of his inner body and into his spiritual body. Um, kicks the soul out of him, if you will. And uh, I guess they have a conversation that wasn't really shown. It's just you see him flying out of his body. Um, uh, be careful what you wish for is mentioned in there. But um, then we get really interesting stuff there's a uh, pumpkin bomb from uh, one of the other two original movies uh, either uh, Tobey Maguire's or Garfield's uh, and then of course we see Doc Ock pop up we also are supposed to see Electro um, and so those two guys those two um, things that happened Plus, we do see some kind of lightning at some point kind of give us this uh, trio of villains vibe where these three villains come back from their thing, uh, from the past or maybe from another part of the multiverse. Um, because, again, we did see the... <coughs> because we did see the uh, lights flashing and stuff. So maybe there is something with that that brought these guys back. We do know that, um, uh, oh, what is his name? The, the Green Goblin was killed in Spider-Man. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I think Electro was killed in... Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, I'm not sure. I didn't really like those ones. Um, but we had also Doc Ock got eaten, well, got absorbed into a, um, a supernova, basically a star. But the thing about those are, those are technically black holes as well, so he might not have been, like, eaten. He might have been teleported. So that makes sense why Doc Ock is there. The other two, I am not sure what happened. Maybe he stopped off and brought them with him. I'm not sure they're gonna have to explain all of that timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff in this movie. I know it's not so much time travel, it's so much as the layers of the multiverse, which um, I do have a theory on, and that is that, um, the coinciding events that all happened at the same time um, in the multiverse would be that um, Loki got the tesseract, got the um, I think it's the tesseract poofed away. Um, uh, Doc Ock, in his part of the multiverse, got the. Uh, got absorbed into the thing and poofed away. Uh, Hobgoblin died at the same point, and I think Electro died all at the same time <coughs> that this cat that the spell was cast, creating a rift in the multiverse, which we already know that um, uh, Owen Loki kills um, Kane. 
so that with that combination I think that basically made this movie with that being said is it a good movie yes is it uh, something that I'm going to go see um, probably um, I'm a little miffed at Sony right now but you know that is a uh, story for another video so I'll probably go see it just because why not I do wish that uh, Marvel slash Disney owned it so I could actually have it on Disney Plus but that is again a story for another video uh, with that being said guys uh, do I recommend this uh, movie so far so good I probably won't be watching any more trailers just because uh, I don't like watching too many trailers and um, yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more, there will be a subscribe button right here. And there will be another video popping up right up here for you guys. So with that being said, thank you for coming in. Thank you to all of my subscribers. And we will see you next time. Peace.